Welcome back to Proctor's Garden. For those of you who missed it, we will once again say that we are all about that basil, about that basil, no fennel. You can go ahead and whack Steve, me now it took if you'd them like. a few minutes just to recover that from that right? dad yeah, they're, joke they're during all the commercial break. They're laughing. Okay, moving on. Rob joins us now. <laughs> we are we're talking about basil. We are course. talking about basil. I know it's one of your favorite things. It is. You said you love basil. I do too. love basil. So we're going to do a taste test while I give you some history of basil. Okay. okay. So you all know regular, normal Italian basil. This is what's going to refresh your memory. Grab a leaf. No. Oh. Just pinch some off. Yeah, there we go. Done. Okay, there we go. So just taste that. Yes. Just nibble on just it. Just nibble on it. And then the crackers are to clear your palate before oh. we go on oh. to the next one. Okay? I thought we were going to put the basil on That's the crackers. That's what I thought too. I thought we were making a basil okay. sandwich I know you cracker. guys are hungry, but so. Okay, so normal right. basil, right? Yep. Next we're going to try Thai basil. Okay. So basil is native to southeastern Wait, Asia I didn't clear and, my palate. and central Africa. And so <laughs> it's logical that, that with that big geographic region, there'd be lots of different kinds of, of varieties that have developed over the centuries. It has been grown and used forever. It was used in mummification, I guess, so the pharaoh could have some nice pesto in the sure. afterlife. There I don't you know. go. So, Why not? Um, it's so a little odd. What do you think of the Thai basil? It's a little bit milder. Yeah. And it has more of that Thai flavor to okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Clear your palate. Mm -hmm. Now okay. we're going to do bush basil. Now this is, it makes a globe when you grow it. It just has little tiny leaves. Now, tr now, if you had shown me this, I would have called this oregano. Mm -hmm. It is a basil. You'll find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. A little bit Wait, earthier. Wait, what does this do? Earthier. 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 See, earthier. Good. good. Okay, and yes, thought. good. <laughs> Sorry, thoughts. Would earthy. you like? Good, you, delicious, okay, so wonderful now we're basil. To the dark opal basil. <laughs> so, uh, what now would you this use? Is for a like contrast. overwhelmed would by all this basil this like morning. If you had a more formal herb garden type, okay, you could sort of do the balls, you know, all lined up in a row. It'd be quite attractive. Okay. Now mm. you were going to ask me. This is the dark opal. Yep. You were going to ask me. You said, "What do I do to keep it from flowering?" Yes, I have basil that's starting to look like this right now, with the flowers popping so up. So some the top. people just okay. pinch it back. However, bees love basil. They really? love basil. So I always let mine go. Oh, to I don't bloom. like that one. Not going for dark. So opal. I've heard from people who mm -mm. say, and maybe this is a myth, that you should pinch the flowers off because it takes some of the power out of the. Oh, nonsense! Oh. <laughs> so now we've got. <laughs> I should never take Itali advice from anybody Italian else. Italian mammoth just basil. Ooh, look at how big it's yes, very mammoth. And these are just small plants. Imagine, like elf but they're cr they're crinkled. Yeah. This should Ooh. taste a lot like normal. Okay. Basil. It does. Did you clear your palate? I did. Okay. Because right. I did not like the right. dark did basil. Like it dark. tastes I exactly like the last right basil I had. Okay, now we're this getting to. This is refreshing. To, this is my favorite. This is holy basil. This is from India. Taste some, and just the whole plant. Plus, it has pink flowers, which usually um, mm. basil has white. I just love the aroma. It's almost like it's it's almost like perfume. I have to tell you, a lot like of this it. tastes like basil. <laughs> no, I think However, it's different. However, if you're a cook, it's different. you know you have yeah. so many different options to. And, yeah. and we've got one more. We've got um, where is it? Cinnamon basil. Where is it? Does it taste like cinnamon? Well, you're going to tell me. <laughs> okay, you clear your palate. See, I got very cinnamon. excited. I got very excited for Basil Day and wore my basil. Oh, I don't like I know, that one I either. That. You gave me this. Thank you for that. And it looks it looks lovely on you. So the whole thing about it basil, cinnamon, I do taste the cinnamon in this. Do you? I'm yeah, still now the my reason palate. that they have different flavors is because of the essential oils in them. They have different proportions in each variety, so the flavors are different. There you go. So when you remember when you plant basil, it needs sun, mm -hmm. it needs to be hot weather. So anybody who put it out, you know, a long time ago, that was way too early. Mine are going in this afternoon as soon as I get home. That would be me. I put it in. Oh, yeah, and did Steve. it live? Did it survive? It did. It did. Okay. Yeah, All right. Fine. Surprise. Seems to be doing And <laughs> you can plant it any time during the summer. Great. And it is not drought tolerant. Okay. okay. Good to know. We got, got all it. those things. I got all Rob the Proctor, basil knowledge I'll ever need. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.